Premier League team of the season is set to be released this Friday the 1st of May and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some predictions who is most likely going to get one and also can we actually invest now when we are looking at them early so just before we get into it if you are new here make sure that you do subscribe and making daily team of the season videos more predictions for each of the leagues every single week so definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future video so I do have all of the cards ready really nice card designs made by your designs very skilled designer who works with 433 and will be working on lots more things together hopefully more of these predictions with him drop him a follow on Instagram and his link will also be in the description so getting straight into this one now last year all of the major leagues got 20 team of the season cards per squad so this was Premier League Bundesliga Serie A all of the leagues and we expect the same thing this year it should be exactly the same 20 team of the season cards again and then bonus ones we are going to have on top of that SBC's weekly objectives and we do have cards for all of them so definitely make sure that you are going to be playing weekend league this Friday the first to Sunday the third that is this weekend league because these are going to be the player picks with the Premier League and definitely try and get your best rank it might have not been motivating but now is definitely a reason to push at least for gold 2 if you guys can get there and above that is even going to to be better so best of luck with that we're gonna have some really nice rewards hopefully every single Thursday from now on so looking at Premier League team this season now for the first 11 it is quite predictable and it's usually based around the same players every single year give or take one or two the goalkeeper starting off now Allison has to be him protecting the Liverpool net well this season and some may argue because it is the defense in front of him they're so good but undeniably he has been helping Liverpool to be well clear at the top where they are are now and we also cannot be surprised to see more Liverpool cards in here because the defence in general is very solid so the centre backs Van Dijk of course in here we are going to see what rating he's going to get compared to the team of the year cards some people are saying it might be different this time because team of the season the seasons have been cut short but we are going to see I think it will still be fairly similar because they are going to want to sell those packs and I have also gone for Sienchi he must be getting in here he has played very well for Leicester City and also could have been in the future stars promo so it will be good to see him in here and should have a very nice card very usable even if you do get him in his player picks should be a nice surprise indeedy now moving on to the midfield we'll have a really nice looking card in my opinion if he is one of those cheaper ones then he's going to be absolutely amazing i'm definitely looking forward to using him with also decore he's going to be a really nice one i personally have a team with mbappe all of those sort of cards so if i can get him here in the midfield maybe next to bakioko that could be really nice and I think a lot of people as well again if he is one of those cheap ones he's definitely going to be an absolute beast and hopefully he should be in the starting 11 or at least outside on the bench I think he will be getting in this top 20 team of the season cards then De Bruyne at that camp position of course has to get in here always at that top level in the Premier League no doubt he is going to be in here and the front as well is pretty much certain Mane Aguero Salah it's not really going to be changing too much I have put a Bamiang on the subs maybe he might be instead of Aguero but doesn't really make a difference which way around they are that is the full 11 and now we do have another nine that are going to be also in packs and then after that we do have bonus ones a few SBCs and objectives so first of all Henderson I think he's going to be on the sub bench 100% has had an incredible season definitely very very good Pereira as well also deserves a place in here for Leicester alongside Madison I think both of those have been very good Leicester actually playing very well this season and Jack Green Grealish as well in here on the sub bench really showing his true abilities in Aston Villa very very good player in there and now we do have a few other big players in here that are going to have huge ratings Adama Shure is going to be a card in here that's going to be very very expensive he's going to terrorize fullbacks and a card quite a lot of people generally don't really want to see get a team this season card because they do fear him and there is definitely a reason to that pace is just absolutely incredible and it's going to be very very hard to defend against that in fit champions then Mares for Manchester City he always fits the meta every single year there's always those type of people that love using him so there's going to be a lot of fans out there trying to get him in their player picks and I think he should have a very very nice card then Danny Ings he's doing very well again at Southampton he should also get in here then Jordan Henderson this time love him or hate him he has to actually get the credit he is really controlling Liverpool and when we did see his absence during his injury there was a really drop off 
in Liverpool's performance. So it really shows how important he is in that Liverpool squad and how they probably wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So definitely should be in this team this season squad. That is what it's all about. Then Aubameyang, he also deserves to get in here. Either it's going to be in the starting 11 like we were talking about with Aguero or on the bench. But again, doesn't really matter too much. Then we do have four now. So I think he has been playing very well. Could maybe be an objective card. This could definitely be one that has a lot of people doing him. A lot of fans. Spanish as well could definitely link in a few teams. And then we do also have St. Maximin. I think could be an SBC or actually get into the full team. But St. Maximin will be another absolutely insane card. He's very similar to Adama Traore in a way. You don't want to be coming up against him in foot champions. But if you have him in his team, they are of course very, very good. They can move the ball very, very quickly and are also very skillful on the ball. Also, Vardy and Son could maybe get into the full team, but there's quite a lot packed in there. Maybe we are going to get a player like Madison. We'll actually get an objective card and we might see someone like Vardy and Son also pushed into there because EA, remember, they do want to sell the packs at, at the end of the day and sell those FIFA points, make that money. So it is going to be something like that. But I'm really looking forward to see what objectives we're going to get again in DD and Ducore, I think, are going to be very nice. Also, Soinich, we are going to see in here. Depends on their prices, but I think if most of the people can get access to them, or at least in their red player picks, should be very nice and meta cards that we can look forward to. Let me know down in the comments below if I missed any cards in here, and also if I did, don't take it to heart. There's a lot of players in here, and I couldn't get all of them. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.